Queen's Gambit accepted, classical, mainline, 7.dxc5 qxd18 rxd1 bxc5 9.nbd2. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. D5 occupies the center and controls the E4 and C4 squares. The D4 square controls the E5 and C5 squares and establishes a solid center. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. E3 supports the D4 pawn and opens the diagonal for the light squared bishop, attacking the pawn on C4. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the E4 square. Bxc4 captures the C4 pawn, and develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls D5. C5 takes space in the center and attacks the D4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. A6 controls the b5 square and prepares the b5 pawn push. Dxc5 captures the pawn and offers the exchange of queens. Qxd1 captures the queen on d1. Rxd1 recaptures the queen and centralizes the rook. Bxc5 recaptures a pawn and develops the bishop. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is the final book action. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. That's good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. That's good. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is ideal. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is best. 
balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.